going on everybody? Lancers here. And today I'm gonna to talk about something that's been on my mind for uh let's say about the last week or so at the time that I recorded this video. You know, and uh taxi has been something that I've thought about for a while now. She's never made into a video, so a couple of things before, you know, I get this out of the way. Um I'm going to be uploading some older videos pretty soon. So if you see these videos after I upload them, after this video, you see them, and I look younger, that's because I was younger, I was slightly younger than what I am now. You know, or I look a little differently than what I did then, like length of my hair and whatnot. And I'll indicate that they're older videos I meant to upload and didn't upload. But just in case, if anyone sees those videos and sees this one, it's like he looks completely different. Well, that's why, because they're, they are older videos. So, uh, I just want to get that out of the way before we start talking in this video. So, the question of today is, has the LGBT community hijacked the word hate and bigot? Now, <clears throat> whenever you have a discussion or an argument, you always have to have, or you always set up a criteria. So, everyone is talking about the same thing, because otherwise you're going to have a great deal of miscommunication and nothing's going to get solved because you two or three or whoever many people are participating in the conversation are going to be talking about completely different things, right? So, I guess, I think anyone intelligent enough to use YouTube pretty much knows what the word hate means and like truly understands. Actually, I don't think anyone truly understands the depths of that word hatred because we throw it around so uh, easily and I don't really think a lot of people understand the word bigot and bigotry because once again those are just words we throw around whenever we're angry you know whenever we get mad you're like oh I hate I hate these shoes not truly understanding that hate for anything is truly a very powerful emotion now I'm not here to dispute the fact that there are people who hate homosexuals. Um, there's no argument there. They exist. They're, they are real. Okay, but I'm here to talk about the people that disagree with homosexuals and their viewpoints, and how they get labeled as being a bigot, and they get labeled as you know hating gay people. When that's not necessarily the case at all. Here's the thing about this topic though, like I have, excuse me, I have several different examples that I can use to talk about this and I'm going to use one that happened a couple years ago. I'm pretty sure everyone remembers the uh, Chick-fil-A fiasco when like the CEO of Chick-fil-A said that he doesn't support gay marriage. How a whole bunch of people, not, not just gay people, but just people in general, got upset. Now, to me, I didn't understand why people were confused about his position because this is the Christian owner of a Christian business that's closed on every Sunday. I don't understand why anyone would think that he would support gay marriage or when he said what he said. I don't and, and the thing is what he said wasn't hateful. You know, he didn't say uh, I'm going to go get a double barrel shotgun and shoot every fag's head off. He didn't say that. He just said, I don't support it. And a lot of people flipped out. Some people were thinking about boycotting Chick-fil-A. I saw it on Facebook a couple times. I, saw, I watched a couple videos on YouTube. People were upset. But I don't understand. Like, you knew he was a Christian. You knew he didn't support that. So why would you think that he would feel a certain way? Why would you think that his answer would go against that? And I think it might have something to do with Barack Obama, how Barack Obama says that he's a Christian, and a lot of the things he says goes directly against the Bible, but, um, or like, he, he mocks the Bible sometimes, you know, and I guess maybe I might find a video of that later, of him straight up mocking the Bible, but I mean, like, maybe that's why people thought that, uh, a Christian would feel a different way about homosexuality, but... Like I said, that's, now that's just me personally. I don't understand why people got angry. But the fact still remains, they did. And they said that that was 
he was being hateful or he's being a bigot. So here I'm here to, to challenge those ideas and those ideologies. I'm here to make you think, is that truly hatred? Is I mean, let's let's talk about that. So there's a song that came out called Same Love Response by a Christian rapper named Bizzle. <clears throat> and the song, he like I said, it pretty much is it's a response. So he responds to what Malcolm Moore and Ryan Lewis were saying in their song, you know, from a different point of view. And there are a lot of nasty comments that are going up on uh his YouTube on his Facebook and there's a website called uh, let the tolerance begin dot com where the basically the whole website is just a streamline of a whole bunch of different nasty comments that people have made to him about that song. They like giving him death threats, a whole bunch of just mean stuff. All because he didn't agree. Now I've listened to the song several times. You know, uh nothing he says is truly hateful, you know. At one point, you know, he says, uh, don't take my aggressive lines to the most lovingless, kindest gay person, because that's not the case. But we're not going to pretend that we don't have people in the LGBT, commu LGBT community that are, like, you know, stomping on crosses in church, going up on the pulpit, kissing each other. We're not going to pretend that this stuff doesn't happen, because it does. You know, we're not going to pretend, I'm not going to pretend that that shit doesn't happen, because it does, and we shouldn't. I feel like the gay community wants tolerance. I feel like if you want tolerance, you have to lead by example. And that goes for any gay person, or any regular normal person, you know, who has like a gay cousin, or a gay friend. You know, if someone says something you don't agree with, getting angry at them, is not going to make them want to change their opinion. It's just not. It's not going to, it's not, it's just not. It's as simple as that. Excuse me, if anything, getting angry at them would just justify their hatred. So you say, it would, it would just make, well, it would give them an example. It, look at all these death threats that are coming. Look at how I can say, look, you're not being tolerant. How can you expect that from me if you're not willing to give that out to anyone else? Now you can say, oh wait, I'm not going to tolerate bigots. Are they? Are we being bigots? Like, me disagreeing with you doesn't make me a bigot. Me disagreeing with you just means I have my own standards and my own opinions about the world. We can't all just agree on the same exact thing, you know? Like, if you like chocolate and I like vanilla... I can't get angry at you because you don't feel the same way I feel. We're different people. We grew up, we have different backgrounds. So we're going to feel differently about different situations. But just because I don't change my opinion to suit yours doesn't make me a bigot. It just means I have standards. Now, I can, I'll listen, now me personally, I'll listen to anything anyone has to say. I'll, I'll let you, I'll argue with you. We'll talk about it. But understand that doesn't necessarily mean my opinion is going to change now let me make this abundantly clear I don't hate gay people I don't uh, if I hated a gay person it would be because he did something to me whatever it was it would do something pretty bad it have to be really bad because I, I just don't dislike a lot of people as it is but it have to be really bad for me to hate him but if I hate him it wouldn't be because he was gay it'd be because he did something to me you know? So, I don't hate gay people. I don't even dislike gay people. Do I agree that you guys should get married? No. Sorry. Doesn't make me, that doesn't mean I hate you. You know? My love for you is not contingent upon how much we agree on something. You know, think about me and my older sister. Me and my older sister, we disagree on a lot of things. But I would give her one of my kidneys to save her life. You know, my love for you is not contingent upon whether we agree or disagree. It's contingent upon how much I'm willing to sacrifice for you. If I'm willing to give up things for you. That's how much I love you. We can disagree on pretty much everything. It would make hanging out with her pretty tough. But we don't disagree on everything. You know, certain stuff we, we argue about. That's perfectly fine. We're going to feel different ways about different things because we're different people. And that's the way the world is. So yeah, I'm going to be making a couple more videos 
about this topic in particular uh, pretty soon or just like down the road. But, uh, you know, for now, that's pretty much all I want to say. I just want to make you guys think about that one for a second. Does, and here's the question, like, if someone disagrees, does that equal hatred? And honestly, think about that one. If you, you took, if you got this far in the video, really, like, think about that one for a second. And once again, I want people to understand, I don't hate gay people. I don't dislike them. I don't think, I don't have any problem with gay people in particular. So... I'm not a bigot. I'll listen to anything you have to say. We'll have a conversation about it. You know, video respond, whatever. But, I don't agree. Sorry. But, like I said, I just want to challenge that viewpoint and make you guys think. So, if anyone liked this video, please, by all means, like it. You know, uh, share this video with a couple of your friends. You know, um, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. And I'll see you guys soon.